Hi there, this is Emily or Cuttlefish Love. Um, I am going to talk to you today about my tarot card collection. It's not a particularly big collection, I've got just four different sets of tarot cards. Um, but there's something about tarot cards um, that have a really nice kind of sound about them, um, especially about the packaging as well. So, uh, the first um, set of tarot cards that I have are um, Osho Zen Tarot cards. I really, really like um, this set of cards, although I'm not totally down with um, the whole Osho thing, but um, I think it's a bit culty, but uh, I really like uh, the artwork of these cards. And the package that it's in is one of these. Um, to me it looks like um, something, a set of like language learning um, DVDs or something. Up, and it's kind of plastic box, and you have the booklet inside, and then you have the cards, which I'm just going to take out. <laughs> no problems with my microphone falling off. Okay, um, and then you can see the cards. Oh, it's the back, not that. I'm keen on the back of them. I think the back of them looks a little bit like I don't know mould or <laughs> something like that, um, with a kind of scribble across the back. Um, but I really like the artwork that's on the actual cards itself themselves. I'm gonna pick out uh, maybe some of my favourite ones to show you. Um, okay. Um, this one is creativity, so number three on the major arcana. Um, and there's like a woman with a crown of stars uh, reaching her hand up to the moon, and then there's like, um, a lotus flower and some water in the imagery. Um, this one is aloneness. And that's number nine in the major arcana. Uh, uh, it's just got this kind of uh, hermit like uh, monk um, kind of lighting his own way in the darkness. So I'll pull it. favourite one. Um, flowering. Uh, and this is the queen of rainbows and rainbows is like um, the equivalent of pentacles in a traditional deck. Um, I just think this woman is really amazing. Um, she's kind of sitting in a flower and she this beautiful stuff around her. And the suit of rainbows is um, representative of kind of the extraordinary and the ordinary, the magic and the everyday. This one too. Um, this is Innocence, and I think that is not very good at my Roman numerals 19 in the um, Major Arcana. And yeah, it's kind of like this like wise innocence of this um, old man sitting under the flowers looking at a, uh, I think it's like a praying mantis or something. And uh, I really like this one. Uh, I think to me it kind of symbolises stopping and paying attention to the kind of little things in life that don't seem very important but actually, you know, are kind of what life's all about and what makes life wonderful and magical and beautiful. Uh, this 
person is understanding and it's kind of got a bird being uh, released from its imaginary cage and I think this is um page of um or night of um water I can't just remember what that one is exactly. This is the King of Rainbows, he's sort of like the um partner to the woman that we saw earlier. <laughs> This one probably because uh, it's the outsider, and I think uh, I see myself as a bit of an outsider. <laughs> um, it's about uh, this little kid looking through a gate and feeling like he can't um, kind of come through and join everyone else, and um, the realization that actually the gate isn't locked um, and that you can just step through and uh, join in with everyone. Uh, and that's also from the rainbow suit. I think I really like the suit of rainbows. I definitely really identify with <laughs> with that suit. Um, like this one too. Uh, this one's playfulness. Uh, it's a page of um, fire. So it's like a masculine. So there's existence, it's number one in the major arcana. Um, and I just like the image of the woman kind of sitting there contemplating the universe. <laughs> suit of wands in a traditional tarot. And it's kind of about again just sort of being in the moment and experiencing nature and in particular but life overall. I think that might be all of the ones that I want to show you. I think I've shown you all my favourite. So yeah, that's that set. They're sort of really good size to actually handle. They uh, kind of sit quite neatly in your hand, they're not too big. And uh, the cards just have a really nice quality to them, I think. Um, I always feel like I get my best readings with this pack of cards, and it's definitely the pack that I am the most familiar with. Um, and the one that I'm more comfortable doing um, reading to other people with. Um, uh, yeah, and I think it's like the pack that I have probably had the most readings from myself and that sort of keeps like popping up in my life. Um, wherever I go, there always seems to be someone who <laughs> has this pack of cards and wants to do a reading from. So I'm going to put these ones away. And then I'll get out the next pack of cards that I acquired.
my crank keeps falling off <laughs> today. Um, so the next pack of cards that um, I got um, were these Rider Waite um, tarot cards. And these are like the classic um, tarot cards. I really feel like I'm not um, not that familiar with um, these cards, um, and I'm still already learning them. I, I no, I don't. I don't find them hugely easy to read. Um, I think I find it hard to like see the meaning of them um, through the kind of images that they have um, on them. Um, although, having said that, I have recently had like a couple of. Um, good readings with them I feel. Um, so maybe I'm just kind of starting to get to grips with them. I think it's helped. Um, I really didn't like um, the book that came with them. I didn't think it like it kind of made sense to me. And I got another book and I didn't like that book either. <laughs> be fussy. Um, and then I started looking on um, biddytarot.com um, and I found um, that using the meanings from that, um, the readings seemed to make lots more sense. Um, and seem to kind of chime in more with the kind of, um, you know, my own sort of feelings about what um, each of the cards meant. So I'm going to open this pack up. And so this one you get. I think this is just a card about the cards. And apparently I've actually lost the booklet to tell you um, the meaning of them. Um, these ones are wrapped up in a little pink ribbon. Remove. Okay, uh, you can see they're a little bit narrower than the um, uh, Osho cards. I think uh, this one here is nine um, from the Major Arcana. I think it's the same as Aloneness in the um, Osho tarot pack and this one's the Hermit. Uh, I really like the kind of um, know, just the sort of art style, um, particularly the major arcana of these. I find this the um, suit cards that I have real difficulty with um, kind of reading of this one. Uh, this is my favourite card of the whole pack, <laughs> uh, and it's near the top because I was um, uh, trying to draw my own um, version of it um, one day. It's Ambition to have designed my own set of tarot cards. Yeah. And the star is all about um, the need to nourish yourself um, in order that you can um, nourish the world. And uh, for me, that is a card that um, really speaks to me. Um, I've kind of experienced burnout in the past, and, um, you know, I guess. I really um I've kind of struggled to to find that balance between uh nourishing myself and nourishing uh, others um in my life. Okay. That's the page of swords. I don't really know the meaning of this one. The King of Cups. Um, I think Cups is like the equivalent of water in the Osho set, so it's kind of about emotions. The King of Emotions. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, there's the Queen of Pentacles. And she's the equivalent of the Queen of Rainbows from the last um, pack. Um, and I really prefer the, the Queen of Rainbows, I think. <laughs> Although she's nice too, but I just prefer the artwork for the Queen of Rainbows. So if we can have some sort of shuffling sounds. I <laughs> don't know how close to the microphone they need to be for you to hear them. There's 
the full. It's one of my favourite cards. Just like the kind of idea of, um, you know, someone who's able to just pass through life, not really worrying about things. I think that's my ideal, but <laughs> a bit of a worry. Uh, so here is the Empress, and this is the equivalent of um, creativity um, by three in the Major Arcana from the um, Osho set. Um, I've been looking at her a lot recently because she's one of the um, cards that I plan to draw soon. She's got some pomegranates, I think, on her dress. Um, this is another card I really like, the moon. Uh, I think I really like this card because um, I read a book um, by Scarlett Thomas. I can't remember the name of the book now. Um, but uh, in it it has, was it the end? No, it wasn't the end of Mr. Y. It's a blue book, I can't remember the name of it. Um, and uh, it has loads of references to the tarot in it. Um, and I found it... Um, really interesting way to kind of understand some of the cards a bit better and I think it really helped me kind of uh, understand this one. So uh, the symbolism of this card is um, a dog and a wolf um, kind of meeting uh, under the moonlight and um, it kind of means like you know you're not really able to see which is the wolf which is the dog um, because of the, the kind of poorly lit <laughs> um, uh, quality of the moon. So. Um, it's about things not being illuminated um, clearly um, and struggling to work out what's really going on in the situation. Or well, that's my interpretation of it anyway. Um, let me see what other cards. I don't know that many of the meanings for these cards, so um, I don't know if there will be any more that I can really talk about. Let's see what. And uh, yeah, the tower is another um, card that the Scarlet Thomas book um, helped me to kind of understand. And it's sort of about like the loss of your home and the loss of um, everything that's kind of secure and stable. Um, I'm going to pop this one back. This is the one of the more recent um, packs that I've got. Um, I can't touch the remember I got it maybe like a month ago, something like that. Um, this is the Carl Gray Angel Prayers one. Um, I was like not sure whether to get this one for ages, because, although I actually um, like watched uh, watched lots and lots of his readings using them um, online. I think because I found the whole thing of them being angels a bit. Um, uncomfortable because I thought, you know, I don't really kind of believe in like kind of Christian um, angels of any kind. Um, so and now I think I kind of come to terms with it by just thinking, 
or you know they're kind of personifications of um, I don't know different ideas um, that um, framing them as kind of people makes it easier for you to connect with those ideas um, um, because you can kind of address them personally um, ask them for help and I think he kind of talks quite a lot about asking the um, angels for help and uh, yeah I'll show you some of the cards inside I can't stop tapping the box because I think this box um, sounds so lovely the best book um, that comes with all of them apart from the Osho one and the cards are just my favourite cards to actually handle because they're really big and they're really shiny and they have um, this cool silver bit on the side uh, I love that I think it's a really nice touch makes them really really feel very special um, you can kind of get a little bit of a feel for the artwork of them if I could show you a few of them it's got one of my favourite ones on the top which is uh, Live Your Joy and I guess it's kind of um, idea of this like, kind of colourful angel who's um, you know, encouraging you to follow the things that make you feel really joyful and happy. So, um, open your heart, Angel Chamuel. I always think it looks like Bowie. <laughs> um, some of my favourite ones: Manifesting Miracles, Archangel. Orion. I think, um, I don't know, there is something really magical about um, this one. I like this one. Uh, the miracle of nature, not just because she has blue hair, but I don't know. I think there is something um, magical celebrating the world around us. I haven't these cards for that long, I don't know them that well. I like this one too. Um, spiritual abundance. It's like she's just kind of sending you her good wishes. Just your vibes. I think uh, definitely have a bit of trouble um, adjusting my intuition, but it's <laughs> a good one for me to keep in mind. Okay, let's 
just a view from that one. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to hear the nice kind of smooth shuffly kind of noises that they make to keep everything up on my face if I want it to be <laughs> heard. These things just feel really lovely. Let's put them away. That's the Carl Grey Angel Prayers deck. And the next deck. The next deck are um <laughs> some ones that my friend sent me as uh, um some Edward Gorey um cards uh, called the Fantod Pack. Oh, and they're really kind of uh, humorous ones. There's just um twenty in the uh set. It says um Edward Gorey's Fan Todd Pack, first published in a limited edition in 1995 and long out of print, offers a bleak yet hilarious take on the classic tarot deck. Enclosed here with 20 cards featuring mysterious archetypes such as the yellow bird, the bottle and the limb, and a booklet with cryptic readings keyed to each image. Dark, droll, mysterious and funereal, the Fan Todd Pack is Gorey at his best, revealing you at your worst. And, uh, I really like the box for this. Um, again, it has really nice sounds, I think. Uh, it has a little booklet, which I'll read a couple of the um, readings for the cards. Uh, and then the cards are very dark. <laughs> um, a bit odd. Um, but that's kind of uh, humour I like. Um, and they're a bit are strange and shiny the cards like they're not the nicest cards to handle but um I don't know how you would do a real reading with these but we would see um oh jeez <laughs> a couple to read out um February, I think that the months and days in this are meant to um, tell you days of it upon which like the greatest calamity is likely to happen. Um, a miscarriage of justice, gapes, a forged snapshot, morbid sensations, a useless sacrifice, alopecia, a generalised calamity, broken promises, ignominy, ign ignominy, 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 <laughs> ignominy, an accident in a theatre, fugues, poverty. Um, there's only 20 cards in this set, so you think I'll be able to find ones that I was looking for. This one is The Insects, Thursday, Foliada, Green Sickness senseless talk, loss of vitality, an accident in a field, false hopes, spasms, a refusal, insincere love, blisters, disagreeable news, threats. The Yellow Bird, Saturday, True Love Thrown Away, Peak, Foot Trouble, Mania, Barratry, I don't know what that is, An Accident on a Ladder, Indiscretion, Bone Disease, Thwarted Ambitions, Poison, An Unforeseen Catastrophe. So we'll 
kind of continue in this slightly morbid dark vein um, one more should we have one more here we are the ladder Tuesday, slander, reversals, creeping sickness, a forged will, insomnia, loss of hair, detention, theft, cafard, I don't know what that is, jealousy, an accident in a restaurant, inanition, Uh, so that is the Edward Gorey um, fan Todd pack of 20 um, tarot cards. I might take you through them each one by one. There's only 20 of these. Um. The blue dog. Ancestor. The tunnel. That one doesn't have a name. The sea. The limb. Bird. The Ecorche. The Insects. The Plant. The Ladder. The Effigy. Burning head, the stones, the feather, the child, the waltzing mouse, the bundle. Anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed um, listening to um, me talking about my tarot card collection. I I think I might do a kind of extended tarot reading from one of the sets. Um, if you would like to see that, then comment um, uh, with which set you'd most like to see a reading from. Thank you. Bye bye.